All right, next up we have Simon Friedland. Uh, on Atmosphere, you may recognize him as Zime. He's a package maintainer at Hansoft, and he's going to show you one account, merging accounts a little bit differently. So during the um, development of Hansoft X, we ran into the problem with uh, multiple accounts like Facebook, uh, GitHub, and stuff like that. So, but we support like Google and GitHub, I think, right now. But the thing was, as everyone else, we started looking around for solutions where all of these should be like one account, so you don't have several accounts for each service. But uh, the thing with the current solutions is like you, you could still get into the scenario where you had two accounts with the same email. And once you try and merge them, uh, you had to take care of updating references to that user throughout your database. And uh, what we did uh, was to change it up. So once you log in with Facebook or GitHub or something, we add your email from that service to your list of emails. So in effect, it becomes a local account, like a password account. And the next time you log in with a related uh, service account, we actually look through it and see if there's a local account with that email. And if it is, we just add that service on top of the other one. And with this approach, we actually pretty much circumvent the scenario where you, you get two accounts with data and you need to merge them and take care of like updating references to a user which doesn't exist anymore. So let's start here and go to somewhere. And then with Facebook, you don't get a verified email, uh, not as at this time. But when we sign up, it says verify your email because you can't log in otherwise. So if we just check, so we get like a verification email sent out by default because it wasn't verified. And then if we check, you can see it actually added the email to the emails list. So now it actually works like a local account, a local account, yeah. So you can go to the forget password and let's see. And you can actually reset your password and you would get that email sent out. And you could actually, let's see. You could actually choose something, and you would actually log in. You would be able to log in with that password, even though you actually didn't get to choose a password when you sign up with Facebook. So it works as expected. So that's like one of the upsides with this. You can actually, it doesn't matter if you sign up with a service or something, you can always reset your password and set a new password and log in with password and email. And if we log out now and we try and log in with GitHub, it would actually just merge the GitHub on top of some, the same account just has Facebook and we added GitHub on top of that. And it's still just one account. And we also automatically, if we hadn't used the verification email, so the email would still be unverified, it would actually automatically verify the email because GitHub gives us a verified email address as of uh, Media 1.2. So as long as you give it the right permissions. So that's basically it. There's still some edge cases and some like improvements to be done, but once Meteor 1.2 hits for real, we're gonna package it up and actually release it. So it's probably gonna be Handsoft uh, one account or something like that. So, and that's basically it. Yeah. Any anyone questions? Have, yeah, anyone have questions for Simon? Yeah, okay, so uh, how does the uh, system handle multiple email addresses? And so say you have um, 
two accounts. You have your private account and you have your work account. And then your work account you connect with your GitHub account. And then you, so you have two local accounts, one connected with GitHub, two different emails. And then you log into GitHub, you update your email to your private email. So GitHub's primary email is now your private email. But that GitHub account is still connected with your work account. And then when you try and log in again, we will actually try and add that email to your list of emails. So, but that will give you an error. So that's like the edge case. So you can't add that email to your currently connected GitHub account because that email is still like another local account. So that's like the edge case and there's improvements. I know Luca has like account smell, so I'm going to talk with him, see if some of his like ask uh, pop-up thing is applicable to this or something. All right, thank you.